Hello, welcome to the emergency department. I have not been here in over a year. It's been approximately 14 months and I cannot tell you how excited I have been to not be in the emergency department or hospital. And I was thinking, I'm gonna go really, really long. Well, that was my plan, but my pick line arm has this sore on it and it continues to grow and get worse. It's very painful. It's very itchy. It, it awakens me during the night because it hurts and it's so, so itchy. And I'm like, oh, my arm, my arm. And I shouldn't scratch it. But I really can't scratch it because it's underneath a dressing. So it's been getting worse and worse. And I'm like, maybe I can wait a little longer, maybe a little longer. And then yesterday I, I looked at it and I thought, that's growing really fast and it's growing right toward my pick line insertion site and I'm not sure if it's just contact dermatitis from the pick line or if it's actually an infection and I really was hoping it's contact derm dermatitis which just means it's my skin's irritated from the pick line but if it's actually an infection then if it goes right towards my pick line insertion site mayday 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 uh, that's not good that would cause sepsis <laughs> So I thought, mm, I should go get that checked out and get the pick line changed from my right arm to my left arm. So hopefully we can get that done. The doctor came in and it's just been really, really fast. And I've just flabbergasted because I woke up early to get to the emergency department early because I know the pick line nurse only works from nine to four and I need to get here while he works. So I left early. I tried to get blood work done before coming because I need blood work for my TPN. But the lab was... <sighs> I've never seen so many people, you know? <laughs> like, lines of people. And I'm going, well, maybe it'll go fast. And I waited for 25 minutes and I thought, I'm just going to go to the emergency department because it's getting late in the morning. And I don't want to get here too late because then I'll get push down on the schedule, the pick line nurse won't be able to come and see me because he has other things he needs to do. And then it's a wasted trip. Either I have to stay overnight or, or come back another day. So then I was like, let's just go to the emergency department. Maybe they'll draw blood here. I, I don't know if they are, but if they are, I'll just take the results and send them over to my nurse for the TPN. And hopefully we can get this all sorted out. And if that doesn't happen with getting the blood work done here, then hopefully I get done early enough and race back to the lab, <clears throat> race back to the laboratory. The laboratory closes at 4.30. So it's right now uh, uh, 9.55. <laughs> I can't read a clock, y'all. <laughs> it is 9.55, 9.55. So about 10 o'clock. And so I have to get to the lab before 4.30. So I need to leave here by 4.00 to zip down, get to the laboratory, get my blood work done and do everything. But if that doesn't work, I, I guess I'm just going to have to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the blood work done. Let's just make up some numbers. <laughs> so that's a bit of an update. Um, bye for now. Hello. Since I last updated, they came to draw blood. The blood drawing experience was quite exciting. There were two women who came. The one was a laboratory technician and the other one was a student. She was very excited. She was almost done with her course. She only has a few more days left and then she graduates. And during these last few days, she has to get skills at drawing blood. So I was one of her test subjects. The first time she put a needle in, it worked fine. She got the blood cultures. But in the middle of the second blood culture, it abruptly stopped working and it blew up and it was a hematoma so they had to withdraw the needle. She tried a second vein and unfortunately she went through the vein instead of being nice and parallel. She just went a little bit too far in and went through the vein. So they couldn't use that but then there was blood dripping and so the lab technician is trying to take the, the vial and trying to squeeze my arm to get blood into the vial and I'm going we have seven vials of blood like she's trying to milk my arm and I'm going no 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 just stick me again so the third time 
the laboratory technician put the needle in and she got blood and she got all seven vials of blood. So that was good. And I got done with that, but I got stuck three times. Hmm, bummer. <laughs> and then I had to get a urine sample, which is always fun, but thankfully I really had to go to the bathroom. So that was a blessing. So we got the urine sample. That was good. I've been waiting for the pick line nurse to come to insert the pick line. And it is just after lunch. It's a little bit after one o'clock and they just came in with paperwork. And they said he's on his way and I was so excited. And the paperwork I felt like was a marriage contract because it was like, I do. And then you had to initial your name. So you had to say like, I do allow for blood products. I do allow for filming. I do allow for photos, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, boy, this is a big commitment. I got to think about this. <laughs> Anyway, so I signed all the paperwork and that's good to go. And the, the man, the pick line nurse is coming. So I'm going to get a new pick line. It's so exciting. So that's a bit of an update. Bye for now. Hello, the pick line nurse just left. And guess what? I've got a new pick line. Yay. He also took out the other pick line. He looked at the infection that was on the arm and he told me it was a good call to get a new pick line because the infection looked as though it was heading right towards the pick line insertion site. And if it did that, very big possibility of getting sepsis, very, very sick. He also looked at the pick line he took out and there was actually a substantial clot in the line. And so that would explain why I've had a lot of issues flushing that line. The old line had three lumens and the one lumen was completely occluded. It did not matter what we did. We could not get it to flush. The second line, we put cath flow through and it still really doesn't flush. The third line worked okay, but from time to time it still would get clogged up and it was hard to flush. So I'm very happy and very grateful. My new pick line only has two lumens and the two lumens are very big lumens. So it should work fabulously and be such an improvement over the three lumen pick line that I did not want in the first place. But unfortunately, when I got it uh, last year, that was the only pick line he had was a three lumen. But we're down to two lumens again and they're the big lumens and they flush beautifully. I'm so excited. So thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. Hello, as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't really have an ending. I mean, I know I said, please remember to like and subscribe, but I didn't give you a complete ending. After I shot my last part of that video, I then had to wait an hour for x-ray to come to make sure my pick line was correctly inserted and going to where it needs to be close to my heart. So I got that done in an hour. Then I had to wait another half an hour to get my discharge instructions and then I was free to go. I got out of the emergency department at 4 p.m. The lab to get my blood work done closed at 4.30 there was a possibility I could race over and get blood work done, but unfortunately we now had an issue. My pick line was in this arm, it's now in this arm. You cannot do blood work in any arm that has a pick line. So this arm was off limits. They could only do blood work in this arm and I have that nasty infection on my arm and they were concerned if they try to do that, they're gonna have to try to get a tourniquet around and they're gonna possibly get into that area and get that infected. Also, they just took out the pick line and that area is very sensitive. You can't put pressure on because there's a direct um, tunnel which goes into my vein. And if you put pressure on that, it won't clot and it'll start squirting out blood. So they were very concerned at the hospital. If I try to get blood work, they're gonna put the tourniquet on and either make the infection worse or that pick line scab would break and it would start shooting blood. Uh, that was not a good idea. So I skipped getting lab work done. When I got home, I copied my lab work that I got done at the hospital, sent it over to my infusion company. I didn't explain the whole issue with my arm. I just said, I hope this blood work will suffice. Thanks so much. Bye. And the infusion nurse at the infusion company said, wonderful. This is exactly what we need. They did exactly the blood work they needed at the hospital so they can use that for my TPN. 
and I'm good for this month. I don't have to get any more blood work for this month. Oh, so exciting. But now I'm home and I'm resting and I'm waiting for my, my infection, infection to heal up and then this arm to not be so sore because it's really quite sensitive and sore from the pick line insertion. So that is my final ending to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.